Previously on but, Gears. Uh, yes, very special guest, Daisy. Tell us all about it. Okay, today on Daisy's Double D's, we're chatting to a prolific South African singer, songwriter, music producer, and stage performer. It's Ashton Knight. Ashton has released five solo albums as well as nine albums as the front man of the band The Awakening. We're very fortunate to have him in studio today. Hi, Ashton. Welcome to Gears on Balls Visual Radio. Hey. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Gee, it's been a long time, Ashton. Great it's to it's have you well. back. Yes. And you've been living in the States now. Uh, yes, I have. Yes. Since, what, like six years, five years? Six years in St. Louis, Missouri, right in the middle. And wow. before you ask, I met my wife on tour in the U.S. And that's so that's what happened. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's all. I, but so I'm sorry, Sasha. I'm married now. I mean, I know how you feel. Because yeah. <laughs> I've, been your, would, I've, been, I've been your biggest fan. <laughs> you have certainly been. I have been your biggest fan. fan. Yeah. Do you know, yeah. I remember sitting on, 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 on FM radio and Sasha saying to me, F. You have to hear the song. <laughs> yeah, I remember no. it well, and you playing it and, and going, jeez, amazing. It was, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a little story. It was one of the only, when I left Five uh, on my last show, was uh, one of only two South African songs that I played. Fantastic. And that was one of them. So I'm glad, I'm glad to be one of the two. Yeah. Yes. But listen, it's, it's great to see you. Um, you still have a huge fan base over here. And, and you're coming out uh, to, to give all of your friends uh, your, your music, which is uh, terrific. Yeah. yeah, we're touring the Anthology 15, which is a greatest hits reinvented and resurrected and all of that. Um, and we're, should I list all the places we're playing and all of that? Well, we've, we've got them here. Got yeah, yeah. I mean, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's very convenient. I can read. <laughs> um, we're starting on Thursday, Rumors Lounge in Rotoport, uh, Friday at the Doors in Edenvale, Saturday, Zeppelin Centurion, and then the following Thursday, Barnyard in Verenigung, and Mercury Live on the Friday in Cape Town, Aunt Kloss in Stellenbosch on the Saturday. It's fantastic. Finishing it all off. And that's, uh, yeah, that's the Awakenings Anthology 15. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Um, and I and, uh, assume that, are you going to be including your solo stuff in, in uh, your repertoire? Um, no, this is going to be... Uh, Just the Awakening I, yeah, stuff? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing some solo dates after that. Okay. After I send Jeremy and friends home, Jeremy's in the background here. The, the listeners, maybe, I don't know, they can't see him. Ah, you've got to uh, jump into view, yeah, Jeremy. Yeah, He's suffering from a little bit of jet lag. Jet lag and, and sort of anxiety as we drove to the wrong side of the highway. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, well, <laughs> welcome, welcome to Africa, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Africa's not for sissies. <laughs> but aren't you also releasing your first Afrikaans album? Yes, that's, uh, it's called Mutterland, and that's... Uh, um, promoting that well all the time like right now <laughs> um, and doing shows in the beginning of April so once the awakening tour wraps up I'm at Cafe Barcelona on the 4th of April and uh, then down to Cape Town for some shows uh, what's it called Elma Cafe Cafe Elma and uh, Ruby's in Paris um, yeah Ashtonight.com, I can't remember all this stuff. Okay, <laughs> now, now, uh, what yeah. what must it be like when you're sitting in Missouri mm. and you get into a studio and you're singing in this foreign language? How do the uh, how how does it get received? They're actually they're intrigued. Mm. You know, I think it's a it's that novelty value thing. And I thought I got tired of dazzling people with my stunning South African English accent. Now I get to dazzle them, and you know. And, you know, <laughs> starny, but you know they, they they smile and wave so it's fine ashton being being um away from home i mean coming out now with a with a an afrikaans album i mean mm -hmm. that's that's a pretty courageous thing to do um <laughs> considering you know you hear here's the album okay mm -hmm. i'm going to tour a little bit and mm -hmm. then you're going to go go home again I, I mean i'm sure through all of the mediums of, of promotion nowadays has the what has the response been from south africa to to this well, Steve Hofmeyer said it is the best Afrikaans album of 2014. Get in. There yep. go. And nice. So, and he, he, Steve has very kindly invited me to play some shows with him, which I have done. Fantastic. My first couple of weeks here, I did, did some guest appearances on some of his shows. And uh, yeah, I did a show with uh, Karen Hochart. She's, she's yeah. the, that, that was our first single. It's a duet between the two of us. Lucas. Lucas, the very one. And uh, that was at the Atsubri Theatre a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah, I've been pretty busy with uh, letting people know 
that I also sing in Afrikaans. So now when, when, um, when you get cross with your wife, do you shout at her in Afrikaans? <laughs> I never get cross with my wife. <laughs> okay, well listen, let's, let's play um, this new Afrikaans single, Geheime en... Momenta. Geheime en Momenta. Secrets and Moments. Yeah. All right, this mm. is Ashton Knight, brand new. Yo! Wow, wow, wow. And it's not just because he's sitting here. No, that's, that's, uh, that's fantastic. Thank you. Still got that uh, incredible vocal sound, Ashton. You know, that's, that, I remember the first time I, I ever came across The Awakening and I was in studio or whatever, and I just got and I just went, where did this voice come from? I mean, it's just amazing that you can have such a delicate kind of song, mm -hmm. and yet it's just still so powerful. Oh, thank Magic, you. thank you. Magic stuff, and it's very well produced. I said it yeah. off the air. It's beautifully put and thank together. Thank you for saying it again. Yeah, it's beautifully, it's beautifully <laughs> put together. It really is. Uh, you've got a, you've got a, a funny thing going there, and I take this as a compliment because you're living there. But you've got an Afrikaans uh, American accent. Mm, have I you, know. have you, have you picked up I on know. that? The burger said that it's charming. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's just that's really our odd first to review. Hit. She she said it's charming, so I'm just going with that. So it's I cool, but I mean know. that's amazing. You think you've been there for five years already, yeah. nearly six years. Yes. Uh, that's incredible. Are you touring over there? I mean, what yes. are you uh, quite extensively uh, within the state of Missouri or all over? Oh, no, all no, over no, nationally. We we started touring the states in 2004. Yeah, uh, with the Awakening and uh, second tours when you know, as I said, met my wife, decided to stay. Went back. We've done a few more Awakening tours in 08 and 09. And then 2010, I put out a solo album called The Valley, which was my sort of Johnny Cash meets David Bowie around a campfire and, you know, okay. trying to take over the world Americana style. Um, that basically was the album, as produced by Quentin Tarantino. So if you could imagine all of that, that was The <laughs> Valley. And the, we toured that literally from New York to New Orleans, you know, wow. all, all over the place. Go featured on NPR. Um, which is, you know, the national public radio. It's mm. a big deal, I guess. Well, we were happy. I also got to play to, so I'm promoting myself. No, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I also got to play to 125 million people live on air on Voice of America. Wow. Wow. Uh, it's it's, a, it's a, obviously a worldwide yep. uh, broadcast called Border Crossings. So we crossed a few borders and I sang a song called Jennifer off the album called The Valley. And... Uh, which also, it also made, I don't know, it won something else. We won't go into all of that. But um, yeah, so uh, after that, I, I've i spent the last couple of years um, on new recordings, mm -hmm. um, including the one you just heard, which for no apparent reason, I sat down on my couch and started singing in Afrikaans with an acoustic guitar. Awesome. And uh, so I thought, well, you know, I could write one. I could probably write 12. And then I wrote two albums. So I've got another one ready. Um, <laughs> as you do as you do yeah, yeah as you do uh, I've done a, I mean I've, I've d I did a little lecture series that I, I went to various universities in the US um, and spoke to them about you know my, my perspective on life I suppose and I've uh, what else have I done yeah I've recorded an, a, a new English solo album which is not yet released and of course The Awakening Greatest Hits uh, mm, yeah. remixed and reinvented and all of that and written and recorded the demos for a new Awakening album, which we're going to put out at the end of this year. And when we get done with this tour, we're looking at hopefully a 60 to 90 date American tour for the Awakening. 60 to 90 days. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that is incredible. Um, <laughs> the fan, but we'll get to the Afrikaans album uh, in, in a while. The fan base in, in the States has just exponentially grown yeah. uh, all of the time everywhere you, whenever you go to a city again more and more people I mean yeah uh, and also just our I think our, our internet presence and all of that yes. reflects that I mean just the the Facebook likes for the awakening and all that have just for no I think I joke every time they put out a vampire movie more people like the awakening <laughs> <laughs> but, so I'd like to thank them uh, but I mean but I mean yeah. actually if we go back to the 90s when yeah. you first sort of sort of came out you were always that step ahead in terms of the internet mm -hmm. it was amazing everyone else was releasing cds or whatever yet you already at those in those days already had that kind of presence i mean it's yeah, always we, been a, yeah. a very powerful tool, tool for you guys yeah, well, i mean we've been we've been on itunes since 1999 you know um yeah. we've been we've had that kind of presence i suppose we we were managed by an american company for a few years and by a german company for a few years and um just to, to keep that that kind of worldwide presence and, and develop that and that's always been the focus of the band was not to be you know local heroes for all eternity but to you know, hopefully grow and develop and release good music 
You've, you've got a very haunting sound to your voice, which, which, when I say haunting, please take it as a as a as a compliment. It's 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 something that I've just I was listening in that song now, and I'm thinking of of the big song that we love, of course, which is Hey Marie. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, did you ever go for for vocal training? Has this been a natural development from all of those years back that you just loved singing, you loved playing instruments? How did it all come about that you you've ended up doing so well uh, and and are sitting here today? Well, no, I didn't get any training of any description. I did, however, fall in love with the music of Elvis Presley at a very, very young age. I sang Blue Suede Shoes to my class in grade two. That was my first <laughs> performance. <laughs> and most people are singing Humpty Dumpty. Whoa, <laughs> singing Blue Suede Shoes. <laughs> and I used to imagine myself in music videos when other kids were doing, you know, cowboys and Native Americans. Right. Um, yeah, so... I guess it's always been something that I've almost almost a dream, really, because back in those days when I grew up, you know, yeah. you didn't know people in bands, and you and it wasn't at all encouraged by the uh, <coughs> school system at the time, uh, education system. It was sort of you know make a list of all the things you're good at. Obviously, not art and music, uh, you know that sort of thing. So it 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 has always been almost almost a, a very tasty forbidden fruit that I have, you know chased and devoured for as, yeah. as long as I can. You know, Amazing. So. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Continue, of course, our guest uh, this afternoon is the legend of South African music, Ashton Knight from ashtonknight.com and The Awakening. It is a remastered version of uh, Marie. Uh, I must tell you, Ashton, when, when I came across it, I was just so excited about it. I just thought, amazing. This time, the drums are where they should have been, uh, in my yes, opinion. Yes, no, Unbelievable. I learned, you know, I got better, hopefully, you know, Listen, over the years. We're going <laughs> figuring, back. Figuring out those little knobs. And we're going back stuff. 15, 16 years in that song. Yeah, yes, yes, yes yeah. we are, unfortunately. I mean, it's true. 1998. Eight, there we go. It was go. the second album, album called Request. And that was, I, I remember you being very, very fond of it. Yeah, then. I know. Very fond of that song. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic, <laughs> fantastic stuff. Um, the, the greatest hits album that you, you're doing now, the Anthology yeah. 15, is everything remastered, redone? Every. Every song has either been remixed, re-recorded, rearranged, updated, you know, not not in a sort of remix as in techno yeah, remix yeah, yeah. kind of, but just a updated version sort of as we prepare to, to tour, you know, the States more comprehensively. I wanted to kind of a, a landing pad for everybody rather than, you know, giving them a, a nine album sort of selection to choose from. We thought it would make it easier, so incredible now um from from a stage presence a stage show south africans haven't seen you in a long long time mm. i mean you've always had a presence a theatrical dramatic mm. kind of thing what without giving away too much but what can people expect uh, when they come and see uh, the awakening well melodrama you know melodrama rock and roll with eyeliner i don't know you know it's it's uh, yes it is it is theatrical it's it's um it's that kind of music that, that lends itself to creating a space to, you know, lose or find yourself in. So hopefully that'll be the deal. Yeah. Fantastic. I, uh, I, I'm very interested to know about the touring in, in the States because, mm -hmm. because it's, uh, I mean, it's bread and butter for, for artists nowadays, really, isn't yeah. it? It's, uh, it's where uh, musicians uh, are making their, their income from. Yeah. What, about, uh, what about that versus selling of songs? I mean, has, uh, has piracy and the like had a big impact on a guy like you? Yeah, I'm sure it has. I mean, but at the same time, my iTunes salary is a great passive salary. You know, yep. it's a, mm -hmm. you, you spend your life making music uh, that hopefully people care about and, and they seem to. People, mm. we still, you know, we still sell the whole catalog every month. Mm. So, and as, you know, as, as new fans join, it, it sort of continues. So, so I'm sure, look, I mean, everyone is, says the same thing, which is that, in, you know, the from the sales side, things are more sad than they've ever been. Mm. I mean, it is, that's true. CD sales are almost a novelty value at this point, yeah. earning mm. a CD. Mm. But please, people, you know, be novel and buy the CDs. Cause <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've just pressed up a whole. We don't have them here today, but I think they're ready for us. Apparently, so excellent. You know, Who, who's distributing for you here? Next music. Okay. okay. Yeah. Excellent. So I mean, yeah. it is good. Is the album out, or is it going to be out now? Yeah, it'll be. This, it's this literally week? in conjunction with the tour. So as soon as as soon as we're on stage, you should theoretically be able to get your album in the store. Or at least ask for it. Yeah. Same for Mudalant. That that's actually out in the stores already. Okay. okay. Yeah.
So how many Americans are you teaching Afrikaans to with this new album of yours? Um, just one, one at a time, really. <laughs> start, start, starting with the family. You know, uh, what's, what's the response been uh, from South African radio to Mudderland, the Afrikaans, uh, and, and specifically the single that we've, we've just played? Well, that, that wasn't necessarily the single. That's just the song, just I, a wanted, song. Okay. I wanted you guys to hear because I thought right. you enjoyed it. Um, yeah. we, we've had, we did a sort of a test run last year and a song called Kanans Beer Begin was picked up nas- nationally and we had a couple of number ones on some of the smaller stations awesome. East Rand Stereo Radio Holberg those sorts of guys uh, excellent so you know I guess that, that that's that's encouraging obviously you know me with my strange accent and all the rest of it it's uh, nice to know that they didn't mm. absolutely despise the album and uh, now we the, 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 the single that had just gone out was in fact Lucas with, yeah. with Karin Hochart and uh, that's as far as I know being played you know on more than one radio station in the country. Awesome. Well, that's, yeah. uh, I mean, that's amazing. And um, the shows you're going to be doing with Steve as well, I mean, are those on your, your well, web no, those, page as those, well? Those are past. Those, he, oh, okay. He, he so literally invited me, and you just sort of, you know, we, we had coffee and one thing led to another and I found myself playing shows. Okay. And uh, right. they were great. They were really, really great. And I mean, there might be others. I don't know. If, if we're both available on the same day, then maybe some more. Terrific. Um, yeah, it was just, I mean, he even said it's the last two people anyone would expect to see yeah. on stage at the yeah. same no, time. That's for sure. And, you know, we did a, a little bit of a Neil Diamond song together and then we, <laughs> and then he, 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 you know, he let me do two of my songs. That's which amazing. Is, which was very generous. And if you, if, if you had a blank piece of paper and you could choose anyone to, to, to do a collaboration with out of South African musicians, uh, both past and present, who would you, uh, who, who would you, you uh, like to get together with? Leslie Ray Dowling. Man, I'm so there. Oh yes. Wow. Yes, maybe a, Maybe a Spaniard remake, although you know, no, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't want to mess with the Spaniard. Maybe maybe something new. I'd, I'd like. She, I mean, the two voices. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, Daisy. I'll play you a Leslie Ray. <laughs> 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 I'm Daisy's very going, confused. Who? <laughs> yeah, that that would be amazing. Uh, uh, any, uh, uh, you you got one of your your guys here. Sorry, uh, he's just arrived. Jet lagged out of hell. Mm. He, have you got your full complement of your band? Yes, here? the other two are South Africans, so okay. we, we we are a true African American experience. Fantastic. That's, that's um, yeah any collaborations that are going to happen on on this uh tour is it just here we are we haven't seen us for a while banging out yeah I nine mean, albums of uh of quality absolutely i mean we do have opening acts for the if uh, you know we've got f spot opening for us in joburg all the joburg shows and then uh, terminatrix in cape town and a band called subverse a new band also in cape town and stellenbosch fantastic so Jeez, that's uh, that that's quite amazing. I'm looking really looking forward to uh, to hearing off CD quality mm-hmm. the uh, the anthology oh, album. Yes, yeah, yes, we will drop we will drop multiple copies off. Fantastic, you oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. Unbelievable, Ashton. Uh, great to to have you back in South Africa. We really really yeah, hope welcome the tour. Back. Yeah, thank you so much. We really really hope uh, the tour goes well, and and it's the first of you know hopefully uh, maybe an annual kind of event. Yeah, it would be good. To yeah. come and uh, yeah. come and spoil uh, the South Africans over here, um, you finished the 29th with the Awakening, and then how much longer are you here doing your Ashton Night shows? Two two more weeks after that. So so weeks. the next two weekends, the, f- the first two weekends, two of, weekends April of April are uh, Ashton Night shows. Yeah. Okay, you can get all of the details in the two different uh, web pages, ashtonlight.com and theawakening.com. I'm just trying to see if that uh, other song, yeah, yeah, we're just going to get that. We're going to spoil our balls uh, listeners here today because uh, I remember when this first or ever came out, it was, uh, yeah, it was just mega. Listen, by the way, while, while they're loading the song, I must just tell you that uh, you've possibly arrived in Johannesburg with the crappest weather no, that we've had for, for the last like, five years. So she can we blame he... you or... You know, I spent years trying to shake this Lord of Darkness <laughs> <laughs> image, and I get you and I had to put, you know, foot an outboard motor to the, to the car. <laughs> Dude. You know, it's so just... What, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say really is go to Cape Town quickly. Okay? Yeah, <laughs> we're trying, we're trying. Yeah, we're trying. <laughs> uh, Ashton, uh, phenomenal to see you. All of the best. <laughs> of course, this was this was a song that, in a way, most probably launched you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bonnie Simon decided that he liked it a great deal. He actually he he just decided that was the one, yeah. and he started playing it. You know, nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, so there we go. That was the, the seventeen first. years ago. Of course, mm-hmm. uh, originally done by Simon and Garfunkel. This is the Awakenings re mixed, remastered. Yeah, it's a twenty fourteen version of it. Yeah. Awesome.
Here it is, the sound of silence. Wish you well. Thanks Thank for you, coming. Ashton. Thank you. Thanks for coming Thank to visit you. us. <laughs> Here we go. Hello, darkness, my over. Gears. Gears on balls.co.za. Weekdays, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m.